Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. Today we have Ryan O'Quinn in the house. He's a actor, comedian, producer, author, dad, husband. Does it all? What else? Multi hyphenate. <laughs> yes. Town you have to. But he's also a dad dude. That's you know, right. We have to mention that viral video. Dad's reacting to Frozen. That's right. <laughs> yes. We uh, that kind of spawned by accident. Quite honestly, I have a, a group of dudes that come over to my house. You know, every other week, and we kind of kick it around the fire pit and just uh, commiserate over kids and family and wives and we were in the zeitgeist of all things frozen i mean i'm sure you remember just a few years ago and so at some point during the night you know we we started uh chatting about how we're 40 something dudes and we're all singing the songs out loud <laughs> in the shower to frozen and everybody was in the same boat you know just a bunch of guys. we knew all the songs so one of us said you know what would be funny and i think that's how every good idea starts totally. right? you know what would be funny is if we rewrote the words to one of the frozen songs and just changed it from a dad's perspective. So we we shot a funny little viral video, and honestly, the the goal was to just send it out to some friends and say, do you resonate with this? Do you get this? And we kind of sat on it until Father's Day weekend of that year. We released it on a Friday before Father's Day weekend, and then we woke up you know, <clears throat> Sunday morning to millions of hits, and our first call was from Fox Television, and then we did the morning talk shows, and the night talk shows, and it was just this right place, right time, kind of weird thing that took off. And so we were known as the dad dudes or the frozen dads. <laughs> that spawned the viral video company and it was just kind of crazy. Well, wow. and also Amazon best-selling books. So yes. let's talk about these, the parenting rules and marriage rules. Right, well, I was on the road as a stand-up comic for about 10 years um, and my comedy was all about my kids and family. And it was uh, a lot of large platform church events. And it was clean comedy and it was just spawned out of real life things that happened in my household. So after the Frozen video, a manager came along and a publishing company came along and said, do you have a book? And like any good actor slash liar, I said, how many do you want? <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Get a book. That's easy. <laughs> then I had to write a book. But the first one, uh, which was an Amazon bestseller, was Parenting Rules, the Hilarious Handbook to Surviving Parenthood. So it's literally just funny stories about things that happen in my household, and I think it's it's not uncommon to other people that have small kids. And then the follow-up, following the success of the first book, was Marriage Rules, which I w wrote with my wife, who's in the studio with us today. But uh, Marriage Rules, the hilarious handbook to surviving marriage. I love that. Yeah. You know, we're talking a lot about being unshakable, and I think that comedy is one of the greatest ways to deal with stuff and, and release some emotions in a, in a weird way. How else do you find yourself unshakable? What do you do? Well, con I, I'll underscore that just for a second. Kind of the, the, the takeaway from the book is you can't take yourself too seriously. Mm -hmm. You've got to have humor in a marriage, in any relationship, mm -hmm. but in a marriage, you've got to have humor. You've got to, you've got to be light ab about things. And the truth of the matter is, uh, things are going to happen no matter what. So in as much as we can, in order to be unshakable, uh, it sounds cliche to say just shake it off, but like you were talking about with, with your story earlier about getting the phone call yesterday and, uh, and going, all right, let me exhale a couple of times. Mm -hmm. We're going to figure this out. I'm still alive. Yeah. All is well. No matter what the roller coaster looks like, let's just get through this together. Mm -hmm. so. So great. Incredible. Thank you so much for all your incredible work and bringing humor to it, light to it, and congratulations on all the success. So what projects are you most excited about right now? What's happening? I, I just finished a comedy, uh, a film that I executive produced and starred in called Motivation, which is the most mm. recent thing on my, uh, uh, in my brain because we just wrapped a couple weeks ago. But it's a, a funny story about a, a motivational speaker, think uh, Tony Robbins, who dies, I'm giving some of it away, but it's okay. He, he dies at the beginning of the film, but he leaves his motivational speaking business to his younger, fatter, balder, inept brother <laughs> in, his, in a motorhome, and all of a sudden has this brand and millions of followers and adherents that he has to kind of, you know, tell how to live their life. Yeah. So he has to figure it out all of a sudden. Needless to say, comedy ensues, and so. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> that. that is yeah. hilarious. That's That'll be funny. Rad. Yeah. There's something so interesting about you and your career and your life. I mean, you've had this incredible sort of historic track record of success in so many different areas and mm -hmm. from so many different angles. What would you say has led you or helped you balance all of that and also decide on projects? Because I'd imagine it's sometimes difficult to sort of mm -hmm selectively sift through all the opportunities that are in front of you. Absolutely. And I'm not saying this because yeah. my wife is within me. <laughs> Trust me. I, that's, uh, this yeah. wasn't canned or pre-planned. Right. But I honestly believe that having a good partner in whatever that looks like mm -hmm. is the key because she is my sounding board. 
my uh, de facto manager. When projects come along, we sit down, we talk about it together. I live in, in Calabasas, so we had a bit of a trick to get to Beverly Hills this morning. So we took that time to kind of walk through business. And it's not all business, but in as much as you can, involve your mate in every aspect of your life and go, look, here's some things that are going on personally that we need to look at. Here's some things that are going on business-wise. How, because anything that we do as an artist or as a creator, or as a filmmaker, you've got filmmakers coming on the show later, but anything that we do inherently affects our personal life. Mm -hmm. So the businesses outside of, you know, when you get off of the couch uh, in the, you know, 45 minutes from now, you go back to, to other things outside of this. And so everything affects personal life, but having that good sounding board is invaluable. Mm. Wow. Fantastic. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Well, tell everyone where they can find and follow you and get your... My, uh, my social is Ryan O'Quinn. Instagram is Ryan O'Quinn Official and Twitter and uh, the website is Ryan O'Quinn. RyanOquinn.com. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more in Good Morning Lawland.